Hello, it's Tom again, and in this video we're going to look at uh, cloning, shallow copying, and deep copying. Now to get us started, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, continue with the uh, main function, or sorry, main method. So in the previous section, uh, you can comment out the uh, console.read key, and then for part four, uncomment the console.read key so we can focus in just on this output. Now, um, what I want to do is I want to uh, create a new uh, string key. I'm going to use this later on to uh, actually add a key to my map. So I'm going to call this string uh, pub, and I'm going to be make it equal to pub as a literal. Okay. So these were all places that we were dealing with before. So now we have this new place called a pub. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to create a second map. Okay, so the data type will be point map. And I'm going to call it my second map. And I want to make it equal to uh, what my intention is, make it equal to a copy of, of my map, which I created previously. Now, in reality, it actually creates a reference to my map, which we'll demonstrate here. So using my second map, I'm going to add a new uh, dictionary entry. OK, so the, the string that I'll use is pub. And uh, I'll create a new Cartesian point. Um, and let's make it, oh, I don't know, 88, 99. That should do the trick. Now the sequence here is I, I've added it to my second map, okay, which uh, originally was equal to my map. Now I'm kind of thinking, well, is my map going to be updated with this new point as well, or is it just going to be affecting my second map. So to sort of prove this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question, or answer the question, I guess, does my map contain the new key? So console.writeline, after modification of my second map, my map, okay, blank, this is either going to say does or does not, contain, and then what this will say is pub. Okay, so I'm using the tertiary, uh, ternary operator here. Um, first I call the contains, I pass it pub. So if my map contains the key pub, if that's true, the string that it's going to insert is does. And if it's not true, the string that it will insert is does not. And then of course, no matter what, in this position, it's going to say pub. All right, so we'll just uh, try that out. Okay, after modification of my second map, mop does contain pub. So that's interesting. Now I just want to actually see that in action. So um, let me actually put all of the all of the entries from my map uh, on the screen here. So let's try running that. Okay, and sure enough, it is in my map. Okay, Be because of the actual key, it comes between work and school. <laughs> okay, it comes between work and school is the pub. Anyways, that's kind of interesting. So uh, even though I added that to my second map, my second map is just a reference to the original map. So what's not going on here is um, it's not making a copy, which is what I really want. So let's comment out the, uh, the declaration, or I'm actually going to copy it first, and then comment it out. On the next line, I'm going to try to make a copy. Okay, so um, I'll declare it my second map equals... And I want to make it a new Cartesian point based on my map. Okay. Now the problem is when I do that, it's, it's um, giving me a, an error here saying, "Hey, there's no there's no constructor that matches this." What I really need here is something similar to what we used to have in C++, which was a copy constructor. There is no copy constructor in C# -sharp exactly, but we can sort of replicate. Uh, its functionality or, or, or create a constructor that's kind of like a copy constructor. So let's uh, have a look at adding that. Okay, I'll save that for now. Go into point map. 
Um, scroll down and you should be able to see the uh, part where it says part four, uh, copy cloning. Okay, so first off, if we're going to define a constructor, we need to we need to define the uh, default constructor first. Okay, so in this case, it's a, a public method called point map. Takes no parameters, doesn't really do anything. This is just a constructor for empty point map objects. Um, as soon as we define one constructor. Uh, then we have to define the, the default as well. Otherwise, uh, it will create its own default constructor. The second constructor that we make will be the copy constructor. So it too is public. It's also called point map, as all constructors are the same name as the class. And what I'm taking here, in C++, this would be a, a constant reference to uh, an object or an instance of the class. Uh, in this case, um, in C Sharp, you know, objects are references, so it's just straight up a, uh, uh, an object referencer or that object declaration, if you will. So the idea here is that we want to make a, uh, a deep copy um, because our point map actually contains uh, objects. Uh, we want to be careful about not just making, uh, you know, copying references of objects that can be very destructive. So we want our, our copy of the point map to actually have its own um, its own points separate from the original one we're trying to copy. So I'm going to use a loop to go through uh, each of the uh, points in the map uh, one at a time. I'll use a for each loop uh, working on the keys collection. So for each string key in source map dot keys, what do I want to do? I want to add and I can say add that works because I'm in the class. Or I can say, if I want to make it clearer, this, because I'm working on this brand new object I'm creating, add. Okay, so that'll work too. And then what do I want to add? Well, I want to add the key that I just extracted, uh, as well as the uh, source map at position key. Now, this is uh, um, sort of okay, I suppose. Um, the only problem is, I'll just close that off. The only problem is uh, what's going to happen when I use source map key is it might just actually copy a reference to the Cartesian point. So um, what I want to make sure I I'm, I'm have the ability to do here is actually copy not the reference, but a, a brand new one. So I'm going to make some modifications to Cartesian point right now. Go into Cartesian point, scroll down a little bit to where it says implementing cloning fun functionality. So what I want to do in this particular case is I want to have the ability to uh, clone a Cartesian point. So I'll, I'll add a method to do that. Actually, before I add the method, I should probably make sure that the class supports the clonable interface. So I'm going to scroll up to the top here. And where it says public class Cartesian point, I'm going to add in the fact that it supports the I clonable interface. The iClonable interface, all it, all it really requires is that the uh, Carti or sorry, the, the class that implements it has a function called clone, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now there's a bit of controversy over the use of iClonable. Um, specifically, there's a lot of programmers that feel that implementing iClonable is next to useless simply because there's, there's no way to tell uh, whether your clone method that you implement is going to do a deep or a shallow uh, copy. And, you know, if you're assuming it's going to do one and it actually does the other, that can be very um, problematic. So um, you can check out this link in the comments about that debate. Uh, I'm not going to engage in the debate necessarily. I'm just going to implement uh, iClonable uh, as if that's what I wanted to do. And then we'll look at an alternative a little bit later on. But for now, um, the clone method is a public method, okay? Um, according to iClonable, it needs to return an object, okay? That's also another issue with this method is that there's lots of typecasting and stuff going on because it, the interface specifies that it needs to return uh, object. It's called clone and it takes no parameters. And oops, all I'm going to do here with this uh, particular method is I'm going to return um, this dot 
member wise clone, which I'm actually inheriting from object. Um, so a member wise clone is just basically a copy of this object one member at a time, as opposed to a bitwise copy. So that's essentially what, uh, what I want to do. So I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to go back to my point map. Um, so where I was saying for each string in source map dot keys, source map uh, square bracket key dot clone is what I want to add. Okay, so that gives me that member, member wise copy. Now here's the problem. Add is expecting a Cartesian point and what clone returns is an object. So I can either typecast it or I can use the as keyword Cartesian point. Uh, using as is almost the same thing as uh, doing typecasting, except that if this couldn't be converted into a Cartesian point, what it would do, it, it would add a null object. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the, in the next tutorial. Okay, but for now, we'll just leave it at this. So what I'm doing is for each of the, basically each of the entries, I'm adding the key uh, and the Cartesian point, um, a clone of the Cartesian point. Okay, so let's uh, try that out in main. Okay, so um, okay, so I thought that this would uh, this would work, <laughs> but I actually made a mistake. It's not obviously not Cartesian point here. It's point map. That makes a lot more sense. Um, so I'll just correct that uh, that error I made in the uh, uh, earlier. Okay, so any rate, so point map. My second map is a new object now, so it's equal to new. And then I'm calling what what I'm going to call the copy constructor. Technically, it isn't, but the point map constructor that takes a point map object. Um, so what that should do is create a deep copy. So my second map should now be a deep copy of um, um, of the original map. All right. So after modification of my second map, map does not contain pub anymore. And here are the entries. So by making second map a copy of the original map, when I add something to second map, it doesn't affect the original map. Okay, so that's a good thing. So we started talking about cloning. Uh, we, we, we added a, a clone method to the um, Cartesian point class, which was just a shallow clone, by the way. It, we didn't need to do anything really too fancy because all it contained was, was basic value types. Um, we could add clone cloning functionality to our actual object as well. So I'll go to point map, scroll down a bit until it says implementing cloning functionality, and this is where we will add our clone method. Before we actually do that, I suppose I should go up to the very top of the class, and uh, in addition to support or inheriting from dictionary base, I'm going to be supporting I clonable. Okay. So again, back down. All right. So uh, this will be a public object or a public method. Um, it is going to return an object because that's what uh, uh, clone is needs to do. It's called clone. It doesn't take any parameters. Now, I'll put a little comment beside it. All right. Now, this uh, version of clone is going to do a deep copy. So I'm going to create a new empty map to start off with. OK. Similar to the copy constructor, I'm going to go through a, a loop uh, for each of the string in the, in the dictionary keys. And I'm going to add, I'm not adding to this anymore. I'm adding to this new map that I created, the key. And then which which uh, Cartesian point? Well, this key dot clone as Cartesian point. OK, and then finally, what I need to do is I need to return the new map that I just created. OK, so you can see it's a I'll just put a little comment there. Return the new map. Okay, so you can see that the, it's not totally dissimilar from my copy constructor, except uh, I'm not I'm not creating a new object. I'm or I'm I'm sp in, in explicitly creating 
a new object that's separate from this object. I'm not just repopulating this object. So let's try implementing that in main. I'll just save that. We'll go back to program. Um, this time what we'll do is I'll, where I created my second map before, I'll just comment that out. We're not doing it uh, using that technique. Um, I'm going to create a new point map. My second map equals so that'll be my map dot clone which is a method and then of course clone returns just a generic object so I have to say as point map or not point list but point map or I could have typecast it as well I could have put point map in brackets in front of this but anyway that will should do the trick so kind of the similar concept but just different this is actually using the i clonable interface instead of using uh, um, a constructor that you know just kind of like a copy constructor um, so let's go ahead and run that and we can see our results are the same as using the copy constructor method it does not contain the original map does not contain pub and uh, we can see that when we we look at the actual list of values all right so that basically uh, wraps up uh, this this video where we were looking at uh, implementing iClonable and uh, a copy constructor. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at an alternative to implementing iClonable for doing uh, deep copying and shallow copying.